Hey, hey Gianpaolo. How are you? Good. Abhishek? Yeah, hi, Jean-Paul. So we are in the 3D Experience Lab. Uh, this is where people come and uh, build their prototypes and uh, unleash their imagination. By the way, what impresses me the most of people using the 3D Experience Works is the ability to imagine things that don't even exist. And then they build upon their ideas, they create the prototypes, like, you know, inspired by the greatest uh, inventors of the past. This is a model from uh, Leonardo da Vinci, right? But, you know, the story is that innovation then happens in garage. People bring their ideas to garage and build the next uh, amazing companies of the future. Is that true? Yeah, innovation can happen anywhere, by the way, GP. But if you really want to check somebody who's working from a garage and innovating, probably you should check out Aaron from Rise Robotics. He's actually working from a garage. Yeah, and then later on, I'm going to be doing office hours with startups at Mass Robotics out of the seaport. You can come check that out. Okay, let's go after innovation where it happens. Hey, Aaron, how are you? Good, thank you. Welcome. Thank you very much. You actually work here. Yes, Rise right? Robotics at Mike's Auto Garage. That's amazing. You came a long way since when there was the pitch competition at 3D Experience World, 2019 in Dallas, right? Yeah, that's right. We, uh, we signed our first customer, Anthony Liftgates. Uh, we raised an investment round from the engine built by MIT. Uh, we needed more space, and so we moved out of Greentown Labs and we moved in here. Tell me, tell me about what you do here. Well, this is the Rise Cylinder, which is more efficient than hydraulic cylinders, and it's solving one of the big problems in climate change by making heavy machinery all electric and affordable. We started Rise Robotics to make recreational exosuits, and then we found industrial utility in heavy lifting machinery. Very interesting. So you mentioned you came out of the engine? Uh, yes, yeah, so they led our investment round in our Series Seed, and they're just down the street uh, in Cambridge. Hi, Emily. How are you? Hi, good. How are you? I'm very good. We are on a quest to discover where innovation happens. Well, I'm glad you're here. You've come to the right place. We are an early stage venture capital firm and we invest in tough tech companies who are trying to solve the world's biggest problems through the convergence of science and engineering. We have a lot of companies who need access to capital, network, and resources that we call infrastructure, and we enable that access to help them along their path. Tell me, what was uh, the most difficult problem that you have encountered during the your job here at the, the engine? I'd say to date, the company solving the most difficult problem is around fusion. They are trying to harness the power of the sun and create clean, limitless energy free to the world. It's amazing. Clean energy for everybody. For everybody. That's beautiful. So listen, I heard of uh, a place called Greentown Labs nearby. Do you know them? I do. They are great friends of ours and they're doing excellent work in the clean energy space. Where am I? I think we can lost. GP? Josh! How's it going? It's going very well. What do you do here? Oh, this is Spark Charge. This is our HQ. I'd love to show you what we mean when we say innovation. Oh, here you go. This here is the Roadie, the world's first portable, ultra-fast, and modular DC fast charger in the world. We're super excited to have made this unit because it now allows electric vehicle owners to have their car charged anytime and anywhere they want. An EV owner can now have this delivered whether they're at home, at the office, or on the go, and receive range instantly. And on top of that, we also launched the world's first mobile charging app, meaning that now an electric vehicle owner with our app called Currently can push a button and have range delivered to them on their commute, at work, at the office, even grabbing a bite at a restaurant. One button away, now instant charging gets delivered to the vehicle. That is amazing. And all of this started with the pitch competition in Dallas, 3D Experience World 2019. It did. Can you believe that from that stage where we won that award, we've been able to deliver over 100,000 miles of range to EV owners, and we're now focused on bringing that experience to EV car owners across the United States. I can say that I really found the spark of innovation here, Josh. Congratulations. Thank you. It was so great to see you on our last advisory board meeting. Yeah, I always loved the advisory board meetings. Last one in particular was great. I love mm -hmm. hearing the pitches from all the companies. You know, Spice got acquired, I know. The 
Hey, GP. Hey, Suchita. I knew, I knew I would find you here. You know, I thought that this is your second home, isn't it? <laughs> well, kind of, but yeah, Green Town Labs, these guys do amazing stuff. A lot of our startups, you know, companies using our software are here. Green Town is the largest climate tech incubator in North America. Uh, we're really supporting entrepreneurs and building communities of, of folks tackling some of the hardest climate challenges uh, through technological innovation. Tell me the most compelling project you have bumped into. One of our companies who you may have seen in the news recently, uh, Form Energy, they work on ultra long duration energy storage, really a key piece of the puzzle for deploying a renewable grid. That's great. Uh, one of the partners uh, came out of Greentown Labs is Forge. We've been working with them. They connect mm -hmm. these startups with the companies who can make things for them. Hello, uh, Jen of uh, Greentown Labs, uh, told me to check what you guys at Forge are about. At Forge, we help innovators on the journey from physical prototype all the way through commercial scale. We do this with a unique focus on supporting manufacturing, so helping innovators and startups first get ready to manufacture and then connect with the local supply chain. Startups are now coming to Forge from all around the world because this focus on manufacturing oh, really? is really unique. I know of an organization called Mass Robotics. It's pretty amazing, I guess. They may need to work with you. They do already work with us. And in fact, dozens of organizations in the region do send their startups and innovators to us as soon as they hear, I need help with manufacturing. Uh, at the same time, Mass Robotics has an incredible wealth of robotics companies that are scaling right there within their space. And they do have some manufacturing supports on their own as well. We work very closely together. And I definitely recommend you check them out. Hey, Giampaolo, glad you can make it. Thank you uh, for coming to Mass Robotics. We're excited to have you. Tom, tell us what, what is about uh, Mass Robotics. Yeah, Mass Robotics is an independent nonprofit that supports the robotics industry. Uh, we do a lot of things, but one of the exciting things here in this space is we really work with some young startups uh, and get them the tools and resources they need to grow. This is the, the wall that shows all the companies that are here. We have over 60 companies. They do all sorts of robotics. Um, Evergreens, for instance, they are doing hydroponic growing of primarily leafy greens, and they also have robotics to automate uh, the way they harvest them, so they make it more efficient and grow them indoors. Um, Urbex is a logistics company that is doing micro distribution. So essentially taking the large store and making it very compact by using robots to move the goods, to pick them and pack them and, and, and retrieve them. This is amazing. So each and every one of these companies have uh, beautiful ideas and they actually go out to, to change the world, right? They do, and, and they use uh, all sorts of other resources, including the software that, that your company provides. Okay. It really drives the engine behind some of these companies and allows these companies to really get out on the world stage. The world stage, that's right. Hmm, imagine, the world stage, that's, that's where innovation happens. Tom, I need to go, thank you very much.